Hi guys, and welcome to. How come you can say hi guys, but I can't? Well, say I didn't hi say guys. you can say hi guys. Yes, you did. Hello, folks, and welcome to the very first episode of Now We're Talking, Baby. Baby. Okay, no, I like I like that. Thank you. So, are we? Am I going to be the intro person throughout now? Because I don't mind. Absolutely not. Just you know, when I find my feet. Okay. <laughs> If any for any of you who do not already know us, um, I'm Cam. And I am Emily. And we are going to take you guys on our journey of parenthood. Yep. Learning as we go. Sharing as we go. Yeah. We're going to be learning. Probably oversharing. Yeah, definitely oversharing. And we, I reckon, are at the base level of probably me definitely not knowing anything about parenthood, about babies. So... Mm. We're here to learn and to grow ho- yeah, together. And hopefully, literally. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna grow every week. That's good. I know. We should do like a little chart on the wall. We should. It's not way you, because I think that's a bit. No, nasty. maybe not a chart, but oh, you know how we um compare. We, there's like an app where you see what fruit the baby is right now. We should bring have a fruit on the table that's every time. That's a good time. idea. Or that and this, we'll paint your belly and we'll get you to bump up against the wall, and every week it'll get a little bit bigger. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> so, yes. So, yeah, we hope to entertain you guys. We're going to educate you guys. We're, we're going to learn and we're going to hopefully teach some of you as well because I think more people need to yeah. l- need to know about this stuff. Yeah, parenthood. of course. And, you know, it's a scary thing. there isn't a rule book for parenting or, you no. know, pregnancy in general. Um, and it's kind of just all about learning as you go and just, you know, winging it, essentially. Yeah, but winging it together. Winging it together, yeah. So, yeah. So today's a very exciting day. I know, I'm so excited. I can't believe we've got to wait till the last minute to do the cake, but that's okay. Yeah, I know, I'm quite anxious for, for that moment. I think that's, I'm not Why anxious. Are you anxious? I don't know. I'm it's, excited. It's like, it's, no, I'm so excited, but it's like a big thing, isn't it? It's like, okay, that's going to determine everything, I think. What, how much you love the child? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's going to determine, like, whether we're going to watch Marvel, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Like, there's a lot rising on that. So yeah, it's like I don't know. It's just I feel like when we know the gender, it'll I, seem more real. Yeah, because at the moment I can't visualize me being a dad. I suppose that won't happen until we've actually had the child anyway. But like, yeah, I feel like because we haven't started decorating the room yet, because we don't know the gender. That's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. So when we that. start that process and like actually buying things for the baby, mm. yeah, it's gonna it's gonna seem real. And I just think it's like different approaches. Like I think I'll. Being a dad for a girl and being a dad for a boy is like two different things. It's probably the same issue with them. Actually, I think it's quite similar being a mum. But I think as a dad, I'll be more protective of the girl. Which is a boy, it'll be like, oh, do you want to jump, jump off? Should we jump off the chairs? Do you know what I mean? It's like more reckless kind of. It's a reckless kind I was, of. Love. I was literally saying yesterday. I was saying to you, and I? I was like, I can imagine you coming home if we have a boy. Probably if we have a girl too. You coming home and just being very annoyed at whatever we do when you're gone. Well, like I think if I remember correctly, you said we're going to fill out the bathtub with polystyrene balls. So, yes, I would be annoyed. Yeah, well, that's fun. That That is fun. I've done it once and it was great fun. The cleanup job was horrible, but it was fun. And I think okay, we should allow, allow them to do things okay, like that. Okay, but I think there's, you know, a hundred other things you can do, which is oh, like, even more like, fun. God, that like, doesn't like, it... like what? Like what? Going to get ice cream. Oh, going to get... No. No. That's standard. See, that's why I know I'm going to be the fun parent. Because I I'm like, oh, mum takes me for ice cream. Dad lets me fill up the bath with polystyrene balls and throw them around the house. I'm sorry, but the Dad fact filled you up have his ice to bath say with every jelly. single time, I'm going to be the fun parent, it's automatically <laughs> makes you the least fun parent. <laughs> I state it because I, I, I know to, it. I don't need to you know, blow my own horn because I know. because no, you're going to take me for ice cream. That That's the pinnacle of your fun. Ice cream. Whereas with me, possibilities are endless. <laughs> oh, I want to get one of those, um, what are they called? Slip and slides. I want to get a slip and slide in the garden. I've already measured it. It'll fit. Okay. And basically what we can do, because we've got those steps going down into the garden. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put a little, I thought this all out. I'm going to put a little like padding up against the gate. Because obviously we don't want to hit the gate. We're going to run from the steps, jump onto the slip and slide, whew, straight, into the, straight into the padding. Obviously not the gate. That's oh. fucking fun. Sounds great. See, and you're going to be there like, oh, boys, or Cam and girl, seriously, oh, what are you doing? Uh, and I'll be there like, move <laughs> away, you boring mum. Go get some ice cream for us. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> yeah. I've also got another little surprise for you. Um, hey. 
as we're doing a podcast now, the podcast needed a jingle. And as I am a music artist, I thought, who better than do it than me? And so, um, you can't... Yeah, is this what I was singing you for the other day? Yeah, so I had to make this really simple for him and, like, keep a... I didn't want to hear in the whole podcast, but I needed some of her vocals in there. So I had to do that. Because obviously like, I'm the star of the show. Because she is the star of the show. She actually got quite a good voice. Um, oh my God, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can no, we, you have got can quite we a good just voice. replay you, that? Because he's never <laughs> said that before. Well, you're not tone deaf, are you? It's not like you. It's, it's not it's not unpleasant to listen to. That's what I'd say. Thank you. Um, so the producer just made like a bass guitar track and I got him to sing over it. And you were quite nervous, weren't you? You t- I was took, you, took you a while, but we got there. Um, and then I filled in the gaps, did my parts, and then he basically added everything back in. Okay, well, let's hear it. And there's a lovely little touch, if you can hear it at the end, which you'll, you'll like. I've put something in at the end. Well, I haven't. My producer has. Come on, then. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Mommy, don't be crazy. Daddy, don't be lazy. Oh, I'll turn upside down, cuz. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking, baby. That's our baby's heartbeat yes, right at the end. I love that. That is so good. Have it's you good. heard that before? No. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> but um, bum, bum, mommy, don't be crazy. Daddy, don't be lazy. I will turn upside down because now, now we're talking, talking baby. Now we're talking baby. <laughs> Smashed it. <laughs> Thanks, <girl. laughs> So... If any, for any of you who do not already know us, um, I'm Cam. And I am Emily Miller. <laughs> I don't know if I should have said my name. No, say your full name. <laughs> state, state, I, state your full name. I'm Emily Faye Miller-Hari. Yep, that's, I'm Cameron Edward Holmes. And we are in love. We're a couple who uh, share things with each other. We're an in love couple. We're a couple, aren't we? We are a proper couple. Um, we <laughs> became a couple on a TV show on Netflix a few years ago. Um, and it was kind of love at first sight, wasn't it? No, it was very much love at first sight. And it was three, three and a half years ago. Oh my God. He loves it. It was this. three and a half like, years ago. We would, we would be together like a year and he'll tell people we've been together like 10 years. So I don't know why you <laughs> like was. doing that. I like, cause it feels like an eternity. Oh, no, Is but I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, no, three and a half years. Three and like some that. years. Yeah. Yeah. But um, thank you, Netflix, for helping us find each other. Yeah. I did initially want a international man. I am However, I'm Welsh. <laughs> that is international. That's different, okay. different to your country. <laughs> well, I meant like, you know, Oh, like, 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 an, like an Italian stallion type. Is that is that what you wanted? Uh, even, f- yeah, pre- yeah, I mean, yeah. You couldn't help yourself, could you? Couldn't I couldn't. Help I couldn't. I know. I just love the M4 so much. <laughs> oh, we love the M4. Um, no, that M4 is a pain, though. The amount of times we had to I, drive. I don't mind the M4. I think it's. I quite actually quite one of my favourite M's. If anything, M25 is the I'm least. I'm your favourite M. You're my favourite M, and then second M4. <laughs> Thank you. M25 right down the bottom. Okay, what I don't, don't you like kn- about the M25? <laughs> I just don't know why I. Before you, yeah, I never went on the M25. And since oh. being with you, I now find myself living on the M25. Like, I never left my hometown really before. And now all of a sudden, I'm going here, there and everywhere. And I have to experience the M25 pretty much every single day. And I don't think I deserve that. <laughs> so hang on. I... <laughs> Yes, I'm, because you've I'm made the me reason for your dis your, for be- your dislike for the M25. Yes, because you've made me move, and you know there's been times where I have to go back and see my mum all the time, or you know with the dog, or just in general life, seeing friends, work. I will say, I moved to you. Can we just clarify this? So I left. I packed up my home in Wales. I packed them all. I left my friends, my family to come and live with you. Did yeah, I so not? So you should. Yeah. So actually, we're, we're even, Stevens. I left my home, and you now exp- live on the M25. We both live on the we live on the M25. We do, yeah. We actually live like literally five minutes off the M25, so that's yeah. pretty. We love pretty it. Jokes. We should get sponsored by the M25. Oh god, I think yeah. it could do a lot of work. I've got a lot of recommendations for the M25. Me, so fucking too. Whoever's in charge of the M25, please just DM me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, also I think M25 could do with maybe a new name. I think the M25, like a rebrand. <laughs> 
Like, you know? The shit house. Well, no, because that would clearly wouldn't do well because no one would want to go on it. You need to call it something fun, something upbeat, something, you know. No, 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 no. That, no, can. That is the issue. Too many people are on it. We need to get so, people oh, to come okay, off it. Okay, okay. So g- give it something worse. Yeah, exactly. The shit house 25. Shit house M25. Okay. Well, yeah. that's, that's our recommendations for you, M25. Take them if you want. Yes. Um, so should, should we explain the show like in a sentence for anyone that hasn't watched it? Okay, round up, help to put to handle in a sentence. I was going to say round up the M25. To, <laughs> <laughs> we're off the M25 now. <laughs> Too Hot to Handle is essentially a celibacy challenge where you go on there, people who are typical oh, fuck boys, fuck girls, who have no... Speak for yourself. Deep, <laughs> who have no deeper, who can't form deeper connections with people. So what they do is they strip all that back, strip away any activity, kissing included, all of it. You can't, no physical touch in order for you to gain a deeper connection with deeper a person. Deeper, meaningful connection. And, well done. And, and we did. That's we, good. We d- good. It was a good summary, wasn't it? It was really good. And, you know, we succeeded. We did. We had a few bumps We're in the road. We're flying colours. Uh, yeah, true, actually. We did have on, a couple of bumps in the road. On my part. But Obviously. Look at us now. You are the man. But now we're talking baby, so, you know. Now we we're winning. Baby. We're winning. Yeah, it was it was a weird experience, and it was weird. It was. I nearly burped in the mic. Sorry. Oh, you fucking baby! <laughs> <laughs> I it, honestly, being pregnant, you're so gassy. Yeah, I know. I can tell. I live with you. <laughs> I, I know. You have to don't have to tell you. Why are you telling me? <laughs> oh, thank you for that information. Uh, I mean, I have always been. You're quite a gassy. Partial you're quite too. a gassy girl. I think. <laughs> I would say. I yes, I am. It's just because I'm comfortable. I'm yeah. only, only around people I'm comfortable with. But it is weird because I, like, I had to get used to that with you. You're very much like open, whereas like my ex was... I'm very vocal with my gases. Yeah, yeah I wasn't used to that because my ex was the total opposite. Mm. So you, were, yeah, you were like, whoa, you were a surprise. That was crazy to me that your ex never went to the toilet in front of you. No. Like number two. It's quite nice though. Never knew it was happening. Didn't ne- never, never a smell. But with you, fucking it, doors it, are open. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> There's no secrets <laughs> in our household. Nope, I can't even have a shit in peace. Honestly. Yeah, I do. Like, I don't even lock the doors anymore because I'm like, what's the point? But the doors in our new house, they have a system. I've noticed I this. Know. Yeah, you can't open it from the other side. I know. Because what, what she used to do is in our old house, she used, oh, to get, she, used to, have to. she used to get a coin and flip it from the other side. And I'm like, I'm having a shit. And then she'd come in and go, this is what she did, right? She'd walk Why in. Why do we always have to talk about poo? Because I like it. <laughs> you, she'd walk in and go, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what do you expect this room is going to smell like? She's like, stinks in here. And I'm like, you didn't have to come in. I you didn't have to get that 2 and I open the door, d- did yes, you? Yes, like, because sometimes you just need to be told. What, that my shit smells? Yeah, that your shit stinks. Uh, what do you want me to do, shit in the garden? Uh, preferably, yes. You, w- you wouldn't let me shit in the garden. If you saw me outside <laughs> having a shit, you'd l- you would lose your head. Because I'd happily shit in the garden if you'd let me. And see, that's so funny because I would happily pick up Twix's shit, but I would not pick up yours. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to pick up your shit from the garden. <laughs> but don't... If you're not going to pick up mine, how are you going to do our babies? Oh, I'll be fine, I think. I think I'll be fine. I haven't thought about that. The shit side. Well, you need to. Cause I'm going to think about everything. Long. I'm going to think about everything in steps. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tackle everything as I face it. And you think the baby's going to wait for you to tackle those demons? Yes. I think what? No, the, the baby's going to be a <laughs> pooping when do you weird think, machine. When does the baby take its first... Like, when do you think the baby will have his first shit? After coming out of you? I don't know. Sometimes it's straight away, isn't it? Oh, no, you can sometimes... I will probably, most poop, definitely. Poop on the baby. Yes, but that's normal. I think I was pooped on, my mum says, I think. Maybe my brother, me and my brother, one of us was pooped yeah, on. Yeah, probably. By our mum. Yeah. Do you remember? I can see that for your mum. <laughs> yeah. She's giving poop on the baby. Yeah, shit. she's giving, you know, free spirit. <laughs> doesn't give a shit, literally. Yeah, we love you, Mum. Yeah, we, we love, love you, Kath. So when we finished filming, we actually had six months of living in secret. Yeah. We were a secret couple for six months. Secret which lovers. I We were secret lovers. Uh, which I loved. I really enjoyed it. And looking back, it was so fun. I think that was essential to where we are now because, and I'll say 100%. this. hundred percent. It, w- it was very romantic. And I like that we will always have that story. Like that story will be. I can't ev- wait to show our kids. I can't really? wait. I can't well, that, wait. Not the whole thing though. Why not? We had a wank in a shower. I don't really want our kids to see that. Well, we can skip over that part. Skip episode five. No, not the and whole episode. And episode two and three. Cam, it was like two seconds. Let's well, let them watch that. Let's be real. Don't fucking flatter yourself. It was yourself. two seconds, but regardless, like, my nan's already seen it. I don't want my baby seeing it. Mm, Richard and Judy have seen it. Have they? 
Yeah, do you not remember on Gogglebox? <laughs> no. Is it Richard and Judy? No. Yeah, do you not remember on Gogglebox? I don't remember Richard and Judy are on Gogglebox. Are they? Yes. Who? I not remember. Come on, come on, dopey. <laughs> come on, dopey. I've re- come to realization recently that Cam oh, is God, the dopiest go, person go, I know. Go. No, like, no. And all these I, years, I, he's fooled me into thinking that he's really intelligent. I am intelligent. Smart. I've got a master's. No, don't let him fool you. He is dopey. <laughs> all right, this all stems from the fact that I left, what was it? I left the garage open overnight. Oh, Cam. No, 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 no. Oh, he left the garage open. He leaves piss in the toilet all the time. No, you did that. I've got a picture of it. Cam! <sighs> no, no, you did not. I've got a picture I've of got it. I've got pictures of yours, so don't. <laughs> don't. If you want to start this, we can go. We can go. Mm, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> No, right. But you did, so don't don't say I'm okay. dopey. You did but the same thing. But it's just so many things that make sense to me now, and it's okay to be dopey. That's what I'm trying to say. It's okay, but just admit it. No, I won't admit it because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dopey. It, I left the garage open overnight. Yes, someone could have robbed us no, in our sleep, you know but what? they didn't. It, That's baby, the main thing. I wish I made a list. I actually probably have made a list. Have you got oh, a list? Oh, I think I have got a list actually. <laughs> bash oh, bash. here we go. Oh, fucking hell, I just needed to refresh. Oh, classic. Um, okay. I'm gonna have justifications for every single one of these, so please hit oh, me. oh my god, how could I forget about this one? Oh. The bath. Oh, the bath god, last night. Bath. Oh my god, right. So I he was feeling a bit man and that. So I was like, oh why don't you go run yourself <laughs> why don't you go run yourself a bath, babe? And he was like, Yeah, I think I will. Anyway, literally ten minutes into this, I still hear the water running. So I'm like, I like a deep bath. But no, I know he, he loves a deep bath, which is fine. I'm a big boy. Especially for our water bill. But I was like, babe, come on, like turn the water off now. And he was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm just adding cold now, I'm adding cold and I could see it was only that much left of room for cold and I was like, Okay, you know, don't want him to get angry or whether because you do have an anger problem. No, <laughs> joking, I don't. Um and so I left it. Anyway, honestly a half an hour goes by, yeah, and he is still running this fucking no, bath. Exaggerate. You're exaggerating. No, Cam, right, don't. You, t- you tell your story and then I'll tell him He's still what, running this bath. He's butt naked, bent <laughs> over this bath. His hairy ass. And he, you've got, what have you got in your hand? He's got like a plunger. <laughs> No, because I couldn't. To I plunge no, out the water. I, I couldn't. The, the bath. The, our water is really hot. I need no, to tell. I haven't even finished. And I, I was getting my hand in. He's not in his hand yet. I don't know why he's moving the water around this plunger. Because it's too hot for do my, to do it with my hands. I've got a stick. <laughs> I'm just like at this point, like, oh, uh, I need to remove myself from this situation because it was just a mess. So I've gone in the shower, like a different, separate bathroom in the shower. I uh, just started washing my hair. Guess what happens? <laughs> the water is f- goes freezing cold. I'm like, oh, uh, you weren't happy. She stormed oh in. Oh my god, I stormed in. in, shivering. I looked like the Grudge with all my hair <laughs> wet over me, going, "You've used up all the hot water." So I've just sat in his bath and plonked myself in there and said, "Fuck you, it's mine now." Right. Thank you for that. In my defence. I need to speak to the plumber because the water is piping hot. You can make a cup of tea with that bath water. It was so hot. So what I did was I filled up to my normal level because I run, I've done baths before. I've run baths. I've had a few hours. I've run baths. So I know what I'm doing there. Okay. And I run it up to a nice level that I like. I like a deep bath. Of course, I'm a big boy. I like, oh, I, I oh, like wait, it. Oh, wait, sorry. Can I just add? I'm no, telling no, no. my story. No, no. I bought Epsom salts, yeah, the other day. Oh, and he, he used the whole bag. No, I didn't. I used a third like you meant to. Used Two to least, four cups. No, used, <laughs> <laughs> used half, over half of my Epsom salts that... He then, so he used, not only used the whole bag, it then just went straight down the drain because yeah, he had to, I'm a big, I'm he had to big, I'm big fucking boy, babe. let go I'm, the whole I'm, bath. I'm training in the gym every day and I've got sore muscles. Yeah, but the point you is don't, you didn't, you, you don't move, you don't need as much as me. I'm, I'm pregnant. A, yeah, fair, fair enough, but, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I filled the bath up to this nice level and I was like, okay, I'll get in now. I turned the cold tap on, the cold wasn't working. So well, the dilemma I had was that the bath was too hot, couldn't fill it with cold because it wasn't cold enough, so I had to let some out, hence why I had the stick to oh, poke it. You're, she so, comes, you're just so dilute in this whole situation. And it's essentially, just, this is the plumber's fault. He needs to come and sort the taps out. That's what we're taking away from that. Whatever. On an intellectual level, I shit all over you. 
GCSEs, put that down on paper. You are good at history. Got A levels, got but a master's. But I think, okay, right, okay. This She's isn't the cam, show, this is the cam show. This isn't the cam show. Um, I so I think yeah. From now on, I'm gonna present a new dope in a story to uh, our listeners every every week. Yes, because they do actually. In hindsight, at the time, it was very upsetting, but. If not upset. It was, it was upsetting. <laughs> you got upset by the fact that I overran my back. No, because, no, because I, okay. I told you I was upset because I wasn't going to make you pancakes after it. Yeah. I okay. actually wasn't going to make yeah. him pancakes that's after it. That's I, how upset I was. That's why I tried to handle the situation as carefully as possible because yeah. I wanted pancakes. But yeah, every week I'm going to bring a new story to the table. We have something very exciting happening today. Very exciting indeed. Oh. Uh, it's something we've been waiting for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. We've had to go through a few hurdles to get here. But... We are finding out the gender of our baby today. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so exciting. No, it we is. have been to the bakers to pick up the cake. So, we're so <laughs> we will do the cake a bit later on. But for now, we're going to listen to some hormonal messages from hormonal you guys. Hormonal messages? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you've been hormonal? Honestly, no. No, like seriously, in, the, in hindsight, <laughs> no, because I'm actually quite disappointed at how little hormonal I have been. I've seen videos and I'm like, oh, yes, I can't wait to, you know, have that excuse and be like that and act that way. I haven't really changed. No, do you know what? I will actually say you're fairly similar. There's a few moments you do kind of kick off, like the bath situation. No, but I, I and, and the cloth don't si- and the, even And try the cloth it. situation. The cloth. Yeah, the cloth situation. So, should the I cloth. T- the cloth. So microfiber cloths, right? We've got a microfiber oh, cloth. Oh, that was just fucking annoying, though. Don't even bother. No, but that was you. That was you a little bit. It was like a brand new microfiber cloth, and he just wetted the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, what is what you meant to do with the microfiber cloth? No, it's cloth? not. Then you just leave. Then you leave it damp and stinky. It was just annoying. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> uh, th- so this is from Amy. Hi guys, I'm seven months pregnant and really feeling the hormones. Yesterday I saw a goose flying by itself and teared up immediately (laughs) because obviously it meant that somehow he got separated from his flock and was now all alone in this cruel world. (laughs) I imagined his panic when he realized the separation and all the things he thought about as he frantically tried to catch up. I wondered if he had a family who abandoned him. All of this in in a 10 second window. Have you had any irrational cries? Lots of love. I feel like. Oh. I feel that, like you, I feel like that would get you. That would pull up my heartstrings for sure. But I've never seen a flying goose on their own. That so is actually quite sad, though. Isn't that it? I oh, I I feel for Amy because because no, he's probably quite lost. He's probably yeah. like shit. Where's the rest of them? You yeah. never you never see one on their own. Oh, like, guys, wait up. Yeah, wait up, that is quite. I think that's that's justifiable. Yeah, a hundred percent. Well, to be fair. I mean, animals pull up my heartstrings anyway. But even this morning, we were late for today because there was a dog running oh, yeah. around our front garden stinky on our drive. Dog. And I was stinky. like in my pajamas, half makeup and hair, running down like, oh my God, a dog, a dog, a dog. Let the dog in immediately. Stank to yeah, high stunk. heaven. Our house stunk as we left the house to come here. The house just stunk It did dog. stink. But that's okay. You know, I got one of our clean bowls to give it water. I didn't want the water. It just wanted me to throw a stick for him. Um... But like, yeah, any animals I would probably cry at. So yeah, I feel like pregnant or not. Yeah, I just don't think you've been that emotional. You're quite, you're not an emotional person in general though. I'm not. During, actually, during the first trimester, I was, and I was pretty bad. Yeah, you were, you were a little bit more emotional. But I think that was just because you, you felt sick a lot. You were really tired. So I think you were more just like struggling with it. I was just an emotional wreck. Yeah, because I was very... Yeah, like you just said, sick and tired all the time. Yeah, yeah. whereas recently you've been hard as a rock. Yeah, but I feel like because this second trimester has been such a breeze, Yeah, thankfully, uh, apparently third trimester can be a bit tricky. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. This is from Cara. Oh, this is a long one, okay. Hey, guys, I had what felt like the world's longest pregnancy. I was 40 weeks and overdue, and I just wanted to get the baby out of me. Me and my partner tried everything. We went for a walk on my swollen feet, and then I... (laughs) And then I rubbed up my nipples like I was getting a red wine stain out of a carpet and nothing happened. <laughs> we set up what we thought would get the baby out. A curry night followed by a shag. I love that. This is, this is what I'm imagining for us as well, by the oh. way. Hang on, okay. What do you mean, oh? No, great for us. 
We ordered takeaway. We ordered a takeaway with some of the spiciest things on the menu. I'm talking lamb madras, the spicy lime pickle, chicken vindaloo, and an extra hot shish kebab. And waited a bit before going up to the bedroom. That's a risky game. Oh my I god, think. she's gonna, she's bit, gonna poo she's gonna on shit. him. She's gonna shit. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Sex when you're pregnant isn't the easiest thing, so we kept it simple with missionary. It's nice, safe. I like the oh, done that. Oh, I couldn't do missionary. About five, heavily pregnant. About five minutes in, I thought we were getting somewhere. I could feel my stomach contract, and the baby was kicking. And I looked up at my partner's face in horror. I shat all over the bed. My partner and gave birth to a massive shit. Our daughter came along a few days later. Love, Cara. Kiss, kiss. I don't know what she was expecting, really. I would just be so mortified if they were like my favourite bed sheets. I mean, I I just don't think oh. where she got that approach from is that. No, like no, no, a no. That's the thing. That's the thing to have a hot curry and sex. Have sex. Do you not remember your mum telling us? Yep, this? Yep, I do remember my mum saying that. Thank you. Yep. We don't have to go through that again. Um, it's a it's a thing, you know, to have a hot curry and sex or you know some sort of stimulation to help get the baby oh, come out quicker. But that the combination, I'd probably do one or the other. I probably wouldn't do a combo. Definitely wouldn't, wouldn't do, do the that. combo now. No, I wouldn't do that combo now Ooh. because you are running running the risk of, oh, of shitting. Oh god, that probably is. That's probably ruined their sex life forever. Oh, definitely. That's probably the that that child would probably have no siblings now. That'll be the last time that I reckon <laughs> I reckon they have sex. Yeah. Oh bless her. That would be the last draw for you, I reckon. But the baby came a few days later, so whether, whether that was a, a a good tactic or not, I don't know. Could have maybe done without it. <sighs> We're gonna be reading a lot of your messages and stories, guys. So yeah, please. we want to hear your stories. You know. Yeah. More, more, more graphic the better. <laughs> okay, more graphic the better. <laughs> Any pregnancy horror stories, funny stories, anything like that, or just advice you've got for us, please email us or DM us, and we'll read them out on the podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. And maybe we can, you know, resonate with a few. Yeah, we Ho want, hopefully not too many. We want to get you. We want to get the people involved. Yeah, and you know, it's good to spread it's awareness. It's a sharing circle. Yes, this is the inner circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um, I feel like we need to give a bit of a backstory in this whole pregnancy. Yeah. Um, because I don't know about you, but I know exactly the location, the day, and the position <laughs> that baby I, was conceived. I know location. That's all I know. I know. Savage. That's all you know. Well, well I didn't know because you didn't tell me until when was it? You found, probably found out a month before me, and then maybe like a few weeks. Then you told I me. didn't find out a month before you. I it? had an inkling, and th- but I officially knew like three days before. Okay, you. okay. Okay. So, um, okay. Well, any guesses where the baby it was? was in Ibiza. It was in Ibiza. It was in Ibiza. It was Ibiza in our hotel room. I would hope so. Yes, it was. Yeah. We, I would we hope it would be nowhere in discreet. public. No, nope, we're not like that. We don't do that. <laughs> um, it was the 18th of September. Was it? It was the 18th of September uh, because it was the last day of my period. Oh, yeah, and we thought we'd be in safe. We thought we'd be in safe, yeah. you know, as you do, because it's the technique we've used our whole relationship, isn't mm-hmm. it? It, 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 I'm it, not on, it? I'm not on contraception. I have never been, really, mm. since I was 16. So, oh. okay. well, Nothing it's just... quite normal to speak about. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, on my period, we thought, fine, you know, safe. And yeah. um, yeah. position missionary ofs. Was it? Was well, not? Did I not switch up or anything? Did I not give it? Probably not. Probably bad game. Okay. But was it good for me? Probably missionary. Was it not any good for me? Like, uh, do you remember it out of ten? Was it all right? I like, it, no, I like, it was like, good. It was, oh, good. It was good. It was good. <laughs> oh, no. no, it was good. It yeah. actually was. Well, that's the thing. I'd, I'd hoped because you know at least if we're having the baby, we want it to be a nice one. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Nice send off. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so yeah, that was when it happened. Yeah. So where I, it was so weird. Like I knew two weeks, being pregnant for two weeks. I just knew. How like, did, did you just have an inkling, like a mum, so mother's inkling from our pregnancy before? Mm. Um, it was just the exact same signs. Like I, as most of you probably know, have no boobs, and for me at the time, because now they're huge. Uh, they were little swollen puppies and I was like oh that doesn't even normally happen when I'm like you know due on my period so that was happening and then oh, I think that was, was that the only telltale sign I can't remember you always said that cause remember it happened with the first pregnancy you didn't want to you had like no you didn't want to drink alcohol at all you just like that felt sick it. when you thought about it that's right so yeah 
I just couldn't get like I'd be drinking going out and it just I just didn't have the taste for it like I didn't want to drink and I, or I couldn't get drunk um so that was definitely another sign mm -hmm. so I wanted to wait until I was due on my period because obviously that's what, it's what you're supposed to do and yeah so the last day of my supposed period I took the test and within seconds it came up as positive and I it was coming up to Cam's birthday so I was like oh I'll wait to tell him on his birthday because of what a lovely birthday surprise uh, and, and the donkeys and the donkeys um so obviously I told my mum straight away and you know we were both oh buzzing we were jumping around you know you can imagine and I had some pictures printed off like of the pregnancy test and whatever and I was gonna like hang them around the hotel room for Cam's birthday because I was taking him to Marbella and so you know got to Marbella all this time I'm just thinking oh my god because I was well I was thinking shit I'm not gonna be able to drink and Cam's gonna think Cam's gonna know what's that's happening that's how, yeah that's how yeah that's know. that's gonna, how he's gonna know but actually we didn't drink a lot did we no we didn't i think i had like one one drink maybe yeah so that was fine and it was own so it got to your birthday and i actually decided to not tell him on his birthday because what? i thought i'd let you have one more year of freedom or was it the fact you took me to the donkey sanctuary for my birthday and i wasn't happy about that that too yeah that, that but <laughs> how i don't under I don't understand okay, how so anyone couldn't be happy with being taken to a no, donkey sanctuary. No, right, okay. Any other day, I would have been... I would have been oh, great. But like my birthday, I thought, she she knows me by now. She knows that I like to do fun stuff. There was a trampoline... What? I, that is fun. Not, it's not really. That is so fun. There was an underground... So this is there, there was the literally fun an underground trampoline park like 10 minutes from my hotel. And I was like, it's got to be that. She knows I love trampolines. She knows I love being underground. You've and never been on a trampoline in our life. In our life, I used to have a trampoline in my garden. Ask my mum. I told you about my trampoline because I used to jump on the wall and go to McDonald's. I've told you this story. Okay. We had a great fat trampoline. Anyway, she takes me. So we're driving to this thing and I'm in the car and I'm like, oh my God, where are we going? We're going to go to the trampoline park. She told me to wear sports gear, like gym stuff. So I'm like, it's definitely it. And uh, this driver's getting, bless him, the poor driver's getting even more annoyed because he's like taking us in down this dirt track. And then I just see this fucking sign for donkeys. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And I did. I had a strop. I feel bad for it. I had a strop. You and the, wo the woman, it. bless her, the woman was like, oh, do you want your own donkey? And I was like, no, I'm all right. Could you imagine? <laughs> so Can you imagine? You're so ungrateful. Yeah, but, These yeah, but I, just don't, I just don't think I've ever expressed like a, 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 a love for donkeys. I don't hate them, but I don't ever go, oh, fuck, I love donkeys. <laughs> and I've never done that. So I'm just a bit confused as to I why. Thought, I thought you love an ass. Realistic <laughs> Realistically, That's it was a bit. Come on, you didn't give me any credit was... for that. Thank you. Thank it you. was a bit more for you. Because I just walked... Okay, behind. yeah, it was for me. I literally... All, all I've got on my phone is pictures of... of, of me and of, the donkey. Of you and a donkey. And I'm like, that was my birthday. Yeah, well, at least we'll remember it forever. Yeah, and then you tried to get me to do fucking TikToks. You're like, oh, babe, I've got to film a TikTok. I'm like, no, I've had enough, no. But it's my birthday. I'm know, walking... Okay. I'm behind a donkey. Okay. So... Carry right. on, yeah. This is... This is the reason I decided not to tell him his birthday. I was like, okay, better not. Let, you know, he probably, he's not in the best of moods and whatever. Yeah. So, waited the next day. And it was then, that was the night you wanted to drink. And we was at yeah. dinner and you were trying well, to get me to order one. cocktails and a bottle of wine. And I was like, mm, not really seeing it. Mm -mm. And you were like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I just need to go to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom and like just composed myself and came back. And I said, right, as soon as I sit down, I just need to tell her. I don't even know why I was so nervous to tell you, to be honest. I, don't, I actually don't even know why. Yeah. Um, and sat, as soon as I sat down, just blurted it out. <laughs> oh you did yeah and i i was i was shocked i'm not gonna lie i was and, I, and i'm i'm gonna kind of i'm not gonna pretend that i wasn't you know i think because we weren't we weren't trying for it we weren't it wasn't something we'd always spoken about babies and we spoke about having kids that was not that wasn't a surprise but i think for me i just really was not expecting it i think i was in a bit of a weird place kind of with my career and stuff and i kind of i've always wanted to say i will have a baby when at the right time but as i'll be reminded now there's never a right time to have a baby and yeah. now I'm honestly so, so excited to have this baby. Like, I I think now this is the best thing that's ever happened to us. But at first when you told me, I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know. I'm really bad at yeah. processing Let's stuff. just say it wasn't the reaction I'd No, before. second baby. Oh, the reaction will be on point. Don't you worry. Second baby. Yeah, you got to yeah. make up But for it. I think I needed to go through all that. And I said this because I think some people might 
at first react in a, in a positive way, but then panic and then, but not share that. And then under, under, under the surface, be panicking through the whole pregnancy. Yeah. Whereas what I did is I panicked Offloaded. At, at first, but now I've just been, I like to think I've been very supportive and I'm very yeah. excited for the whole journey. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But it, yeah, I think initially it was just the fact that I expected you to be as excited as I was and the fact that you wasn't. Yeah, um, and in a way, like I, I regret that, but I also don't, because I think that needs to happen. Because now, because of that, I'm so on board for this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm fully, fully here, and I'm excited, and yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, Agreed. ready to have this baby. You're ready to find ready out the gender. To, I'm ready to find ready. out the gender. <laughs> so it's finally time to reveal the gender. Oh God, no, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh God, I'm just like I'm nervous now. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous, nervous to know. So this week we went for a scan and then we gave the scan results to the baker to make the cake. Shout out Amy's Bakehouse. Here's what happened. So this is the start, start of the journey. Well, it's kind of like the middle of the journey. Our baby journey. We're going to be parents and podcasters. Two peas in a pod. Nice. What do you think you're having? Uh, people keep saying that you have a hunch and I'm like, I don't yeah, think I can, I don't think I can have a... Dreams, dreams are pretty good. I've had a dream uh, twice about a boy actually. Yeah. Have so, you? Yeah, but... I haven't had that. It's just, I'm going off by the amount of hair okay. I'm growing. Okay. I'm thinking it's giving testosterone. Oh, it's not too bad. We are going to listen to your baby's habit. Please close your eyes and to our baby Jenna. Yeah. It's so hard to not look. Yeah, don't look. Do not look. What is it on the screen right now? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, pleasure. Keep your eyes closed. Keep them closed. Keep your eyes closed. Do not open. There's a hand and foot across the face. I'll take it. I'll take it. There's a sharp, shy baby. Yeah. You can just about see the chin under the foot. Oh, yeah. Any question? No, I'll be a thank you, man. But are you certain what the sex is? 99.9. <laughs> Here's a free gift to say thank you for choosing Window to the Womb Watchers. Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you. Here's a picture of the baby's side profile oh. with the cord floating across. Oh, adorable. It looks like, looks like it's smiling. You can see your baby's eyes up <laughs> the nose. Oh. Secret That's the secret. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, oh my god, oh my god. Baby oh god. of Emily and Cameron. <laughs> this is perfect. The text yeah. is just what I wanted. Colours are great. And but then you've got the coloured sponge. So you've got the surprise on top and then the coloured sponge. Exactly. Ooh. And the design we're going for oh. a burn, a burn cake. Oh no, I've never seen a burn so cake. It's the new trend at the moment. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were asking if I've ever seen a burn cake. And we are very before. on trend. Trusting you with that, there we Thank go. Thank you so much. I Thank can't you. Alright. <laughs> Alright, well you can leave it in your capable hands. Yeah, secret safe with me. And we'll see you in a couple of days. I'm yeah. so excited. Have fun baking. We're about to reveal the gender of our baby. Drum roll, please. No, but my, wait, wait, can we just hands, pull in? My hands are sweaty. Why are you so hands. nervous? I don't know, I don't know, I'm nervous. Okay, but just before, what, what is your final prediction? I think maybe, I think it's a girl. I think it's a, I think it'll be girl daddy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say to be different boy. Okay. Okay, but I honestly, at this moment in time, I actually don't, I just want to, I need okay. to know, I need to know. Okay. Okay, right. Your clammy hands can't even light it. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. I'm panicking. Okay. Wait, just let this thing go out. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure it burns proper. Whew. Okay, guys, are we ready? Oh my god, I can see. Oh my god, I can see it. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I can't see it. I don't know. I don't know. No, I can't see it. Why can't I read it? It's a boy! Is it a boy? Oh, oh. Dad! Oh, we got a boy! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>
was so much marble. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, I knew it. I knew it was a boy. I actually knew it. I knew it because every time I refer to the baby, I'd say he, he, he. Yeah. He. Oh my oh. god. Oh, it's a fucking boy. It's a fucking Come on. Yes. Oh, my little, my little boy. My little boy. And we... For the viewers, it's not that big. Oh, you got it, you got it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, it's been a while. I need the bigger one, babe. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. To our boy. To our boy. I'm actually, my hands are shaking. Oh. All right, well, let's dig in then. Like that? I think so. I've never done this before. I think so. Three, two, one. Oh, you just ruined my whole cake. Wow, cheers to that, babe. Cheers, babe. To, to our boy and to, to, our the, boy to the journey. And thanks, guys. Oh, the microphone's really far away. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us in our gender reveal. Um, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we will see you next week for the roller coaster. Yeah, you're part of the journey now, people. Cheers. Yeah, you're part of the family. Uh, cheers. You're involved. Love you all. Now we're talking, babe.